Thank you, Deja. The Visiting Nurse Association, along with the Kauffman Foundation, teamed up to put on a COVID-19 vaccine clinic today. So Ray Daniel is live for us this morning at 48th and Rock Hill with more. Ray, what has the process been like to get this set up? Oh, it's been quite the process, Taylor, and I want to start off by saying all appointments are booked, so we really just want to focus on how this process has been. So joining me now is the president of the Visiting Nurse Association, Brad Evans. Brad, let's talk about this partnership with the Kauffman Foundation and how it's been. This has been a two-day event, correct? Correct, correct, and this is our third event that we've held with the Kauffman Foundation at the conference center. So when we got into this at the VNA, we got into this initially just to help vaccinate healthcare workers that were not hospital based as well as the the vulnerable population the elderly and really we decided at that point we need to expand this to make this so that we have the availability to vaccinate more people uh, it, across the community and so we reached out to the Kauffman Foundation to see if they had any resources available and, uh, and they said why not the conference center uh, so they've they've opened up the conference center this is our third event now uh, so by the time we're all said and done we will have vaccinated 5,000 people here in Kansas City uh, and it's been a joint effort between VNA Home Health and Hospice and the Kauffman Foundation they've supplied volunteers they've opened up their facility uh, and so we've we've reached a number of people which is been wonderful. Brad, you know, we've done a couple of stories with Visiting Nurse Association in the past, and one of our earlier stories, when the vaccines were first being pushed out, we were talking about how the demand was so high and the supply was so low. Has it flipped on its head a little bit? Are you seeing more of a supply rather than demand? We are. We're starting to see that that, that supply demand curve start to shift. Um, there was a very high demand. Uh, you couldn't you, you couldn't find a location to get vaccinated hardly anywhere, especially if you were a citizen. You you were not in healthcare, uh, and so you're starting to see now. Kansas City's done a great job, in my opinion. Uh, when you look on the state state of Missouri's website, there's multiple places where you can now sign up to to receive a vaccine. So we are starting to see a shift uh, in that supply that there is a av widespread availability of the vaccine. My last question for you, Brad, is, you know, for, for folks who may be a little hesitant to take the vaccine, right. what would be your message to them? You know, the message is it's, it's a personal choice, number one. So you, you, you've got to weigh the, the, the risk and the benefits. But, but, you know, anecdotally, we've done the Pfizer vaccine. Uh, we've provided the Pfizer vaccine at every one of our events. Uh, we've had uh, relatively no side effects that anyone has reported to us. Um, and so, you know, it's, uh, again, it's a, it's a personal choice, but uh, as a healthcare organization, we highly recommend it. Brad, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us this morning. Thank you. I really appreciate it. So they vaccinated 600 people yesterday, 600 today, correct? Right. And again, they are all booked up, but of course we have so many resources about where you can get a vaccine here in our area at our, on our website at kshb.com. Lindsay and Taylor, I'll go ahead and swing it back over to you all. All right, Ray, thank you very much. And while that event is full, there are, again, many in our area that are accepting walk-ins today. Several opportunities. You can find more information on finding one near you on our website, kshb.com. Again, just click on that coronavirus and KC tab. It's right at the top of the homepage.